So in, in a Canadian um, came up with the idea, the heavy and synaptural learning rule, that there has to be massive firing in your brain before learning can take place. Dramatic massive firing. So what happens is, I'm kind of run through the scientific process pretty quickly, you run into something meaningful, emotional that you care about or you're afraid of or, or that makes an impact on you. Outside of on neurons, you have these branches, these dendrital branches, there's receptor sites. Out of these receptor sites, you see something meaningful, bang, it explodes a, 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 a magnesium molecule is stuck in there, stopping the learning something meaningful comes in, it blows that magnesium plug out. Calcium runs into the cell in a very complex process, starts with transcription factors and everything else that causes genetic expression in the form of neurological growth. You physically change, but no change happens unless there's simultaneous firing in diverse groups of neurons, not small little groups of neurons, massive groups of neurons. That's why experiential learning is so powerful. That's why the, the, the system of profound learning is so powerful. It forces massive neural firing. You're blowing magnesium plugs out of these are called NMDA receptor sites and basically you're transforming the whole inside of that neuron which in turn transforms you. And as Deming said, as the first step is transforming of the individual. If you want to transform a system, you can't get there with the same knowledge that you built it with. The neural structure that bit, built the system and it sucks is going to build it and prove it so it sucks worse. You don't want to use using that. I forget, I was speaking to a, um, a woman last night, and I apologize, I forgot her name, but she said, you know, I'm working in this big corporate organization, it's one of the Fortune 500, and they said, look, don't bring any more new learning. We don't want to confuse things around here. So basically what they're going to do is they're going to, you know, as Demi said, recycle ignorance. So what we've got is there is no system transformation without biological transformation within you. So, and this is the fascinating part, is um, my little laser is so wimpy. Um, so, Basically what you've got there, those are real neurons and those are real dendrital branches. All you have to do is learn one thing in those hundred billion neurons, and each neuron can have anywhere from 5,000 or less to 500,000 connections per neuron. What that means is you have more connections per neuron, possible connections per neuron, than there are atoms in the universe. There's a lot going on in your head, but all you have to do is have one receptor site grow. Now I'm using, I'm speaking metaphorically if there's any neuroscientists in the audience, but all you have to do is have one simple receptor site go, grow and it totally transforms you. It has the possibility of totally transforming the way you perceive yourself and the world. So, anybody heard of Edward Lorenz? who came up with the book Chaos back in the late 80s, came up with the Chaos Theory, late 80s or 90s. He's the fellow that said, if a butterfly flap, flaps its wings in Singapore, we could have a hurricane or a tornado in Kansas. So basically the idea is small little changes, small little transformation can cause dramatic transformation. And this can happen in you. And this is why Deming was saying, you don't have to know all the parts of the the, the system of profound knowledge. You only have to know little bits of it. If you take one little bit and apply it, you can not only totally transform yourself, but you have the possibility of transforming the world.